So we will be modeling the uh, we will be modeling the cord, right, or the wire, or yeah, the uh, spiral cord. All right. So in Blender, um, that's fairly easy to do to make any type of wire, right? So uh, let me just hide this for now. So we start with a curve, okay? So I'm going to go to Add Curve, and then if I go, well, let's say with just a path right here, very similar how we model the apple, okay? If I go to the top viewport, number seven right here, and I press tab, I get all these points right here I can move. So if I press G right here, I can kind of make kind of like this shape that it's like a corded, okay? And if I go to press E, this thing kind of continues. If I go to the front and I press E, this thing just kind of goes up. So you can see that's what it looks like now. Okay. And to make a wire or a cord out of this, it's actually really easy. Okay. If we go here to the curves tab. All right. And then we go to geometry. The bevel part here is all we need. So right now you have um, several ways to kind of create a shape out of this. The first one is round which is simply a circle shape. So if I go here and then just add depth right here, so I slide that over. There you go. So we already kind of created this cord or tunnel or whatever it is, okay? And if I press tab, all those points are still editable. You can still change the shape. So this is how you make like a vine or any string, right? Because you can select each one here, uh, each point, and if you select both like so, and you right-click subdivide, it, it allows you to add multiple points in the middle. So let's say in case you wanted to add one more and you missed it, there it is. Uh, another thing you can do with this is you can select each point. If you press N, let me turn on screencast, an item right here, there's a radius that you can gra uh, slide here. So you can kind of change the shape of those. So if you want it kind of tapered, you can go like so. All right, so you can do that simply by uh, going to the item right here, okay? And of course, you can put weight so that uh, when you use modifiers like the skin modifier, um, they do get a uh, certain value. So that's simply, all I did is added depth, okay? added depth to the uh, bevel part, okay? Another one is that you can do is using an object, okay? An object then, uh, you know, profile would be kind of the same thing except on this one, uh, you know, you can change kind of like, uh, it's not round. You can kind of change it to uh, no resolution so you get like a square shape instead, okay? But we don't want any of that. What we want, let's say, an object. So an object is, what do you want to kind of get the shape out of this line uh, from, right? So simply means uh, I'm going to add a new object, let's say from a circle. You might say, but we already have the round, but uh, yeah, let's wait here a bit, okay? Um, this circle then uh, will be the shape that will go around this line, right? So I'm going to go back to the line. Remember, we're in the curves tab right here. If I go to object and then select the object, so I'm going to click that eyedropper and I select this, you're going to say big deal, we already done that, but this one you can now manipulate. So if I actually add, let's say if I hit tab right here, everything is selected, I right click and then hit subdivide, let's say two times, okay? And if I go to number seven here, and let's say I selected every other point. Okay, so I'm skipping every other point. Okay, watch this one. If I scale those, you get a custom shape. So now you can make churros. <laughs> All right. So, and um, overall here, if I scale this one, there you go, or just select one point and then and I go crazy. Oop. Okay. 
I don't know what the heck kind of shape is this, but you can already tell that if you're in, well, not this one, but this one right here, if you're under object, whatever it is that you extrude from it, that's what you're going to get. Okay, so now going back to the lesson of how do we get that corded phone, the spiral right there. Well, technically you can with a lot of elbow grease, okay, you can keep manipulating this uh, uh, point, I mean this uh, this thing right here to kind of go, you know, you press E, E, lower it down, E, I mean technically you can do this, right? I mean no one's stopping you from making a manual spiral, okay, except your pride, okay, so I mean, you can, but there is extra objects in Blender. Um, the reason why Blender runs so fast and whatnot, a lot of the add-ons are turned off, okay? So you only, when you need them, that's when they pop up. So let's turn on some add-ons, okay? I'm going to delete that and the other shape as well, okay? So, um, so in order to kind of get this shape right here, of course, you need more in a way work okay uh, you need to probably put an armature to kind of bend it this way but let's start slow on this one okay so I'm going to go to my edit preferences okay and under add-ons I'm gonna put type in extra when you type in extra like what I did not type there extra right there you see add curves extra objects there's also extra objects on the mesh so we're not going to bother with those for now i'm going to put a check mark on that okay and when you close this now when i go to my add and curve whoa right it used to be just nerve circle and then pat that's it now we have all this other shape here okay so uh, what we want is the helix 3d okay so the Helix 3D uh, falls under the curve profiles Helix 3D right there. And there's all sorts of stuff, okay? If you want a um, star, you get a star right there. So now your churro is going to be awesome, all right? It's a star churro. You can already see it, okay? So what we want, add curve, curve profiles Helix 3D. All right, so the Helix 3D, there it is. It's not exactly what we want yet, so let's hide our image right here. But while this thing is created and your cr uh, curve profile is on, it's important that you keep this here, okay? All right, so we have the resolution right there. This is probably way too high resolution. There's way too many points here, so I'm going to lower that down. Whoa, why did that come back? All right. Oh, is it tied into? Okay, I guess. All right, so I'm going to lower this to, uh, all right, because that's still going to be fairly smooth looking, okay? So I'm going to give it, let's say, instead of 115 resolution, okay? So how do we make it to this one here? So that would be the height. You lower it, okay? And then, <coughs> excuse me, your start angle is at zero. Your end angle is what's going to give it the multiple loops. So if I increase this one, there it is. Okay. So I don't know what we're going to put here. Uh, let's put 3,000. Okay. And increase the resolution now because that way we can see the circling. All right. And uh, the height. All right. So by doing that, we have that formation there, but I think it needs a little bit more height. Okay, never mind the resolution comes back. I thought the resolution will be kept per segment, but I guess uh, it didn't work that way. Okay, 100, just leave the resolution to 100, don't listen to me. Okay, so what we did is change the height. The width right here, don't worry too much, uh, you know, that can all still be changed, so. You know, make it a little bit lower. I'm just trying to kind of copy that one so the height can probably change a little bit. Okay, and then the end angle is what gives it the number of spiral, okay? 
All right, so right now, uh, what we want is not a poly, but a bezier, okay? And on bezier, we could probably get away with less resolution. Let's just stick to 100. Okay, bezier, that means it's, it's, it's still a curve, so we still have that option to select one and then or select one of the ends right there. So let's say you want that part. You simply click E to extrude. and it connects to whatever the heck you need it to connect to, right? So how do we make that shape? Well, the exact same before, right? Remember, in bevel, we have geometry, bevel, and then the object. So we just want a simple circle with this, right? So let's see, curve, but they have other stuff here. So let's see. Um, what's an ellipse? Oh, it's a salted one, okay. Never mind. Let's just go good old boring uh, circle or nerve circle. Okay, I'm going to go with nerve circle. I'm going to put it right there. All right. So, okay, so from the previous demo, uh, well, let me delete this now. Select this one. Okay, and of course, if you ever need to curve that or whatever, you got to you got to manipulate that somehow. You can put a, an armature if you want. Okay, we go to object, select this object, and voila, there it is. So it looks like a, it's like a bug cocoon or <laughs> something like that. So if I select this circle now and I scale it, all right, so it's a little bit more manageable. All right, so for the simple things in life, let's say, that we could just get away with. But now that corded phone, it's not a circle, right? It's somehow a little bit flat. So what do we need to do? Well, exactly what we can do with this is uh, scale it, you know, in some other por uh, proportion right here. So I don't know which one, maybe Z or Y. Or, or there you go. So it kind of gave it that. Maybe that's a little too much. It's, uh, all right, so kind of give it that kind of flat. There you go. So there is it. There it is. Does that look like a... Rotary phone cord, Gary? Yeah, yeah that, I think that'll do it. All right, so that's it. And, um, but it's, it's work trying to get this thing um, uh, going along the formation, all right? And the other thing, too, is that the helix object, uh, the parameters other than the resolution, it's gone. Okay, so there's a little bit of trial and error, I think. Uh, let's see. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, I don't think you can find it here. Uh, yeah, it's gone. All the old settings, how to change the height. So there's a little bit of trial and error. So because once you commit, like you change those settings when you first create it, like let me add another one. All right. Once you change this, to whatever you want and then you end with let's say object mode that thing is gone I think it's just like creating any other so you're you're no you no longer have access to it so you can't make it any wider or taller or less dense so there's trial and error involved so first practice what you want like that and then if it's not happening remember the numbers and then make another one so that's how you get those uh, chords right there and then this one right now uh, is let me delete that this one right here is not a polygon so when you go to edit mode you still have this so you got to convert this so you got to right click it convert it to mesh then you get all the polygons then look how dense that thing is that's insane okay but you can manipulate this so how do we kind of fix that well the resolution right here before you convert it you can lower that down by lowering it down however uh, it lose some of that kind of very uh, smooth object from uh, look uh, faceted look okay uh, but if you convert it with that used to be 12 now it's 3 okay if I go mesh like it's a lot uh, there's still more okay undo because I forgot to Change the resolution of the uh, 
the uh, the object right here. So this circle also has 12. So if we change that to let's say lower it also to three, okay. So now this profile is following that shape as resolution three. This one is uh, preview resolution. It's only one. Okay. Um, if I right-click, convert it to mesh, and then, all right, a little bit more manageable, right? So you can lower that, but it's totally up to you what your computer can manage, okay? And in order to kind of get this uh, be affected and be manipulated, uh, you need to make sure that you do this in a straight manner, something consistent. Uh, you can then add a... Uh, a really simple uh, armature to this so if you add an armature like so and this is of course uh, another lesson I just want to kind of show you real quick okay and if we just kind of select that and that one right there parent it same thing with the coke uh, model right and then when we select this little guy right here and we go to post mode. Okay, so you can kind of bend it. All right. So, so I would, if I were going to model this one, I would model it straight, like standing up no curvature and then I would manipulate it using the bones and whatnot and then this one right here if you want to manipulate this cord then you got to have a bone kind of following this as well okay so kind of like if we have that it's probably will freak it out okay because I just grabbed that whatever so I just want to kind of show it to you okay and uh, And well, it will go from this all the way up, okay? And then you will parent it, and then it will be part of it, okay? So that's that. That's how you get a uh, phone cord uh, and how to kind of position it and bend it.